Greetings, my fellow outdoorsmen, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, episode 59, Outdoorsy. Big trout, small pike, and small catfish. All right, well, it, that feels pretty successful. Although this big trout is smaller than the small pike that I got prior. Kind of questioning their measurement system, but whatever. Swing. Oops, that's gonna hurt. And uh, we have some mushrooms to go with it. So some uh, wild mushroom and trout dinner coming up, I think. Yum. Oh, here. Here the old stompy stomp. So you see a zombie, you let them get close, you shove, you go over their body. When you're standing them like this, they can't get up. So it's, a, well, they not, don't get up quickly, I should say. So it's a good way to, if you're fighting two at once, you can sort of stand on one while you fight the other. While you're, and then you position yourself right over their head, and you attack and squish. They're dead. Very, very easy weapon to use early game. Because everybody's got feet. Except for Lieutenant Dan. Poor Dan. But if you aren't, if you're not Lieutenant Dan, you can put the zombies down. Hey, Glitch, thanks for bits. You ready for some wild mushroom uh, trout? Too bad I don't have like spring onion or something. Make it even nicer. Maybe I'll add, I'll add the, the bird to it as well. But look at that, I am encumbered. I've got uh, 12 kilos of fish and almost oh, okay i don't really have any bird but uh, 12 kilos of fish that's pretty good for just a day wandering around collecting bugs and doing it uh this time maybe i won't make a stew i'll fry it create a stir fry from fish Mushroom, more mushroom, bird, more bird, and more fish. With some salt, and some pepper, and oil. Looks good. And I'll put everything else on ice. Hey, Magic Hippie. 30 months. <laughs> everything is well with me. Thank you for checking. How about yourself? Do we get the bird out of the crate? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I shoved the bird in the trunk here. You been too darn busy? Yeah, I've been pretty busy myself. So much that I want to get done with so little time to actually get it done. But I am sure I'm not alone in that feeling. It's too bad I didn't manage to get more of the cookbook read. So I'm not getting good experience for my cooking at this point. I only have like a fourth of the book read or something like that. Oh, 
Hunger 109. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. I will eat a fraction of that. I ate a quarter and I'm full to bursting. Yo, does Feisty today? He is. Don't do that. Well, heat up more of it tomorrow. And I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I just came to that realization. That's not good. Search for another stove. Um, create a museum. Or loot farm supplies near the baseball diamond. Hey, bud. Or just pet Yoda. Oh, harass him. He's in, like, goblin mode right now. <laughs> He's making all sorts of weird snorting, snorting noises, too. Oh, Magic Hippie, thanks for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. This game deserves more love than it gets. I gets a lot of love on my channel, I can, I can tell you that much. Playing it every week for, like, months now. Time for leftovers. A 30-month celebration? Cheers. The 30 more. Is that a sheep or a dog? Uh... How old is Yoda? Yoda's 10. Hey, bud. I wonder if the other dogs I can call over. My door's closed, but I can't tell if they're in the other room. Let me see. Echo, Tusk. Oh, here comes Tusk. Hey, Tusk. Tusk, come right here. Right behind Yoda. Hi. No, over here. Oh, that's burning. Oh, my food's burning. Glad it makes noise. And I'll stick it back in the freezer. So, you guys want me to loot farm supplies near the baseball diamond. How long have I survived for? Uh, I'll check in just a sec. So, the baseball diamond is to my east, mostly. It is this building, and then there's a farm supply store. Um, where is it in relation? I forget. Are you going to tell me? So it's not the high school. Is it, uh, is it this building here? I'll mark it with an X. Is this the su farm supply? I don't think uh, PZ Maps has it marked as a actual point of interest. There's also a hardware store um, here, which might have uh, jars as well. So I'll head down that way and try to find, try to like dig my heels in at around the first X. It's uh, the green one south of the black one. So it is 
Okay. Let me let me find it then. So this we've got art supply store here, butchery, um, a bar. This place is called Espresso Espresso. So I'm gonna put a star there. Tax and accounting. I don't see it. I don't know what building you're referring to. There's a mead and bar place. No, the two green ones? Oh, these here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, next to the American Tire. Yeah, it's, it's right there. Okay, cool. So, this star here is where I'm headed. I'll just put a bunch of arrows to it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. So now I know where I'm going. Cool. Thank you. And I wasn't paused in game. Oh, that's that's genius. My machete is pretty worn down, so I gotta keep an eye on its health. It's probably gonna break today, again. Nope, nope. Charting my course. Uh, south two blocks, and then over to the southeast. Got it. You like the lung decorations? Yeah, I have lung decorations and roof decorations. So how long have I survived for? I see that you asked that again. Um, three months, 13 days, or 14 days. Well, that's not good for the car. Wow, just uh, yesterday it was vacant on this road at this point. Because this is the gas station I really went, and now it has a dozen or two dozen zombies on it. I think this is my turn, though. It is, so I should go southeast. So, three and a half months survived, 2,600 something zombies killed. Not a record for me, nowhere close. But this whole time I've lived since day zero in Louisville. I've never left the city limits. And it's essentially a apocalypse difficulty. It's apocalypse difficulty with like nights are a little bit brighter and light bulbs don't burn out because both of those things, the light bulbs are annoying. They burn like without modifying the, the game's settings, the server settings, light bulbs burn out like every 24 hours. And maybe not literally, but it feels like that. And then brighter nights just so that you guys don't get to aren't forced to watch at the black void during night time. Uh, fluid tankers are mods. There is no high capacity fluid storage other than rain barrels. And, I mean, one can make the argument like bathtubs and sinks or whatever, but other than rain barrels in the game, you would need the, uh, the trailer's mod.
Here's the baseball diamond. So, my next right. It looks like a fairly busy neighborhood. I'm going to have my work cut out for me. But a big parking lot is a nice, safe place to, uh, to get killed, I guess. So this is American Tire, if I wanted extra car parts. And then this is the garden store. Oh, is the hood for this thing good? Oh! Hey, look at that! I'm also gonna steal a van's hood. The map actually does show your current location. There's a red dot right there, which is where your current location is. It's more visible, I guess, when you zoom out. That's how to see current location. It's tiny, though. Yeah, it's easy to miss. Yep, yeah, there goes the machete. Man, that was faster than I thought it would be. Today might end up, depending on how much swarm I have to fight, be a katana day. Oh, we have an annotated map. I don't see many of those. And it's Maldra. Rip. Throw that right into the trash where it belongs. If you're wondering why, uh, one of the rules of the series is I never leave Louisville. So any annotated map outside of Louisville is a map that I'll never go to and therefore don't care about. Sporty, dude. I think that's it. I think we're clear. I mean, there's one inside, like in the bathroom or something. That wasn't too bad. So, what am I here for? I'll take the seeds, not that I need them, but like, we might as well hoard seeds. I'm mostly here for the jarring stuff. But because seeds don't weigh anything, I can just grab them. Not, not be all that encumbered. Oh, another David. I'll take a second, David. Scarecrow uh, scares you? I can use a Scarecrow back home. It's a mannequin? I wonder if it becomes a mannequin when I put it back down. Or if it stays a scare Scarecrow. Oh, stays a man uh, Scarecrow. That's great. Mine now. You dislike how canning and drying is done in this game? Yeah. Well, I mean... You know how I went on a whole big rant about how it's... It's not great. I stand by that rant. The TLDR of the rant is that... Um, jars should be at least a little reusable. The way it works now is you have to combine... Sugar, vinegar, heat... A jar, a jar lid... And whatever you're trying to jar. Heat it up and then you've jarred it. It's relatively simple, but the problem is anytime you open up a jar of stuff, you use up the lid. Like, you lose a lid, it gets used up. So, and jars are really rare to begin with. Like, very, very, very rare to begin with. So, 
it's very near impossible to actually jar your own fruits and veggies in the game because you can do it like once ever and then you're out of jars. There we go, box of jars. One box. I've, in, in three and a half months, I found a single box of jars in a farm supply store. If, if the jars were more common, it would still suck that the lids are uh, cons consumed in the process, but at least it'd be slightly more viable. Wait, just wait for a jar supply store. <laughs> you know, I'd take that over like the the uh, the baseball bat place any day. You don't need four hundred baseball bats to survive long term. Four hundred jars, absolutely. Especially if you're on a multiplayer server, because if you're competing with other players for jars, oh, I'm sorry, but you're never gonna get any because there's like. Five jars in the entire world. Or five box of jars in the entire world. That was mean. And uh, if you're on multiplayer, they're gone. Wait, this is locked on both sides? Okay, fine. Really? Everything is locked? Come on. How far are we from the latest episode? Uh, check the uptime. That is exactly how far we are. Well, these, um, crops, a lot of them are seed-bearing. Like the, uh, the carrots and tomatoes. Broccoli and strawberries. Don't mind if I do. And boom. I'm just going to keep harvesting. I don't need to min-max my, um, my farming skill. But this is a really good way to... Like, the way you build up farming experience in the game is you only get it when you harvest. But it doesn't really matter if you're the one that planned it or not. So coming here is a really good way to get a bunch of farming experience. Although farming is definitely the, one of the easiest to level up anyway, so... You don't need to really power level it. And if you really want to be lazy, just plant strawberries. Because strawberries you don't have to replant every time. So you can just keep harvesting, harvesting, harvesting. Another reason to come down here is if you don't want to level up your carpentry skill. And you don't need... Um, if you don't need... Uh, what's it called? Uh, stairwells for any reason. You can just come here and loot the rain barrels. And there's also rain barrels at the military checkpoint that are lootable as well. I ought to just throw out that machete at this point. I've repaired it to oblivion, I think. Now, the one area that I wanted to go to is the shed. See if there was, um... Other stuff in this shed here. Oops. I disassembled the wrong thing. Hello? Fine, I'll go to you. I hate doing that, because it's sketchy. They try to kill you as you're leaping in. No, this is all like hardware. Hmm. 
Yep. Yep, pretty much all just hardware. It's too bad there is stuff that looks like either wheat or corn, but doesn't actually exist. Not a plant. Someday. Someday there will be grain, and you'll be able to, like, grind flour. That'd be, that'd be cool. Make yourself a pizza later on. Because they're introducing uh, animal husbandry. So you'll be able to get eggs and milk and things. Don't worry, I wasn't going to leave you hanging. Mr. Mannequin will come with me. They're going to be my, uh, my wooden gate guards. And before I leave here, I also want to take that windshield. It, whatever condition it is, it's better than my current one. My current windshield is trashed. What's the funniest way I've ever killed myself? Not from zombification? Hmm. I mean, fire is a pretty typical way. Because it's so very easy to just accidentally light yourself on fire in the game. But it's not funny, it's not novel. I don't know, I haven't had a lot of funny deaths. Most of my deaths are straightforward. Oh, great. Thanks, Louie. You're just smashing up the windshield instead of actually uninstalling it. Real useful. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Keep ruining it. <laughs> okay, finally. I'll put the other one in, just for the experience. Maybe eating um, food poisoned food that like another player cooked for me. That well, that one's uh, amusing. No, no, don't do that. All right, we're over the eighty percent mark. Windshield is not great. I mean, I found the windshield at 87% and then he broke it to 69%. So he decided to smash up the windshield for funsies. But a pretty good haul of um, stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'll go home and jar. I'll actually uh, use the jars I found and, and jar up as much food as I can. Uh, flipping the car never ended up killing me. I've never died that way. So we're at 80.34%, I think. Oh, was there, um... So there was the coffee place that I didn't go to. But, uh, let me just put the check mark of, like, I've cleared this. But it's too late in the day for me to bother stopping right now. You've let to, yet to play multiplayer? It used to be a bit of a mess, and they've been cleaning up the netcode, so it's a lot more playable than it once was. It used to be, like... And it still is, like, driving around in multiplayer is a little sketchy, and then the if you have a high ping, it's also going to be really difficult, because, um, you know, zombies are going to bite you while you have latency, which is not so good. But it is particularly fun on land when you have low or no ping problems, or if you just have a bunch of friends um, in the same geographical area where one of you can local host, where your pings are, like, I would say south of like 75 is going to avoid the most of the frustration. But you know, I've tried to I've tried to play with like people in 
Australia, for instance, and it's like, nope, that's not gonna work. Ping a 250 with a round trip to server of 500 or half a second, plus, you know, processing latency. Uh, it feels more, it feels longer than half a second. It's like half a second in Zomboid is like life or death already as it is. Like when I leaped into the Garden Shack's uh, window and that zombie lunged at me, if I didn't react within, you know, 200 milliseconds rather than 500 milliseconds, I would have probably been bit or at least attacked. So there's very little margin for error. If you guys want to uh, suggest for goals for tomorrow, uh, do so now while I'm driving back. I'll get them pulled. And I also don't think I've updated my goal up top for a while. So right now the priority is uh, jar up. <laughs> Tail whip. Got her anyway. Let me set up the other mannequin. I don't use the other gates very often, so I'm going to set the other mannequin uh, here to guard the apartment building. These creepers don't need company. They look too creepy to have friends. But David's going to get a friend here. You're mainly a YouTube viewer and you don't know what to suggest? Well, feel free to just vote on other suggestions then. One of the advantages of being a live viewer is you get to vote. Even if you aren't, uh... Hey, Scav! Not only did you resub, but now you hear your rating. Uh, I guess another shout-out is in order. How's that sound? Ah, you're playing Bonnie Isaac. Fun. Classic. Welcome, Raiders. We're doing uh, Preserve the Fruit Hour here at my channel. <laughs> we went to a farming store, supply store, and got probably more vegetables and fruits than I can even store. I'd imagine. I don't think I have a lot of freezer space left. Ah, co-op with GF? Nice. I can't convince the wife to uh, play video games with me. I kind of don't blame her, though. The games I like to play are not entry-level games. It's not like, oh, let's play some Nintendo Wii together. It's like, let's play Project Zomboid. You'll live for five minutes. It will be very frustrating, and you will want to throw the mouse across the room. Shall we? Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Reminds me of when, I, you know, I've had some friends show a passing interest in playing, like, complex games like I typically play. Like, let's say Stellaris. And it's like, year 10 in Stellaris, and I'm, you know, galactic reigning supreme and they're like starving in a little corner of the galaxy it's like yeah okay I, I get why it's not fun 
Uh, hey, David. Uh, uh, okay. Here. That works. I think... I don't know how much um, jarring I'm going to do. So maybe jarring will be first thing tomorrow morning. Because I'm already, like, super tired in-game. So I'll do the jarring and then... Uh, and then whatever tasks you guys have for me. Mark Spain, thank you for the resub. So how many jars will I have? I have... 11 jars and 16 lids. So at least I have... 5 extra lids for when I open jars up and the lids disappear. Get snapped by Thanos. That's my new head cannon. Every time I open up a jar lid, Thanos snaps and it it just gets dusted. All right, let's see. What do you guys want me to do? Um, what to do tomorrow? So. Search for another antique stove. Create a museum. Search the neighborhood. So whatever is around. Create a vehicle bay. I'll call it a truck bay. Um, ambulance plus guns equal fun. Expand the home. Uh, urban foraging. You know, I haven't actually done a lot of urban foraging, like door-to-door -door house searching. I've really stayed out of any of the houses other than the apartment complex to the northeast. My choice. Uh, Funa, I already did your goal like five times over, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, so here we go. There's the poll. You guys vote. And the first thing I'm going to do in the morning is uh, just jar up some stuff. Keep keep my fruit and veggies fresh. Hey, Tusky. Wait, I have eggs to open? That's news to me. Look at all these, uh... Well, there's not a lot of recipes that are... opening up. So here's what you can jar. Oddly enough, you can jar more than what you can grow. Like, bell peppers, eggplants, leeks, um... That stuff is damn near impossible to jar. Because <laughs> those items get spoiled before you are able to jar them. So I need to go collect uh, vinegar and sugar. So let me look through my shelves here for vinegar and sugar. It also requires water, but I mean, I've got a sink, so that's not a problem. Here's a bag of sugar. I am positive I have the vinger somewhere. It's probably actually under the sink. So I set that stuff aside. Oh my god, do I not have the vinegar? Are you serious? I guess I can't jar anything. That's a surprise to me. How do I not have the vinegar? There's rice vinegar on the shelf? I think that's... Um, not the same. Here, if I walk by these shelves, we can see if the vinegar lights up. That's like a good insta way. And yeah, I don't have vinegar. I definitely don't have vinegar because... 
Okay. Guess we're not jarring anything. I could probably search for vinegar going to restaurants. It wouldn't be impossible. But I'm really surprised I didn't have any. It's also something that you typically find, like, um, in people's kitchens. Uh, you guys voted for my choice, so I'm going to continue trying to jar. Quest for vinegar. That's what we're doing. Figure if I made the all that effort to uh What the hell kind of weather is this? Oh you broke my fence Come on, I just built this. Oh well. You, you I should fire. You did nothing. Provided no benefit of security. Talk about quiet quitting, right? Can you make uh, vinegar? No, you have to find it. Same with sugar. There's no like sugar cane. Can you dress a scarecrow? Uh, maybe. I don't think I've ever tried. So I think the... Actually, let me check the chicken place. I don't recall if, uh, if I ever bothered to look for vinegar specifically out of it. Also, why are the lights on? Uh, rotted milk is actually something I do need. Or, um, mildew. Nope. One really easy way to check this faster would have been to just open up the, like, cooking overlay and run around. There's propane in the back? Uh, there used to be. I, I took it. Years ago. Or months ago. Well, that chicken place is certainly not Carolina style. I can tell you that much. When you hit high level cooking, uh, does rod food work for it? Uh, work for what? For cooking? Yes. At level 8. And I believe I'm level 8. No, I'm level 6. Jump the gun on that. But it can't be all rotted food. It has to be a, a small percentage of the total meal. To be unpoisoned. Come on, truck. Fourth try? Fifth? The hell is going on? We are higher quality than this. Truck, I am disappointed. Can I make pizza? Nope. Don't have the ingredients. We'll never have the ingredients. Oh, no, that's not true. I mean, it is possible that I have all fresh ingredients except for the, um, the cheese, I suppose. Because I should be able to, well, yeah. That could be a goal, but right now I'm just trying to jar stuff. If you want to submit that as a suggestion... You can, but it would require me to get a lot more cooking experience than I currently have. I believe I have uh, a lot more cooking tapes, though. Let me check on that. How many of the cooking tapes have I watched? Oh, never mind. There's no more. I mean, I have cook tape three that I could watch for experience, but there, there'd be a lot of leveling up cooking before I'd ever be able to make pizza.
So I was hoping to actually just go door to door into these kitchens here looking for um, looking for things that I haven't read and for vinegar and other useful items. Just some urban looting. Actually, I'm going to stop myself from looting things that, uh, like, dried chick. I mean, I have so much of that back in the base. I don't need it. I will take coffee, though. Hey, a spare can opener. I actually don't mind. Only had one for a long, long time. I usually try to avoid situations like this where I go, it's tight quarters, a lot of apartment buildings, because there's just a lot of room for error, a lot of room for, um, for problems. You get swarmed pretty easy. I am here. So let's start marking these off. These X's are obviously going to overlap quite a bit. Oh, that's rare. It's rare to find an empty sewing kit. I honestly can't remember the last time I have ever found an empty sewing kit like that. Well, I definitely don't need sugar. I keep finding more and more and more sugar. For the, uh... For the canning process, drying process. There's a few books and magazines I don't have. I'm trying to keep an eye out for that. Uh, the books would be First Aid 4 and 5, I believe. And then for magazines, Angler 1, All the Gorilla Radio, and Hunter 3. But I wouldn't... I don't need to keep this list open because it would actually just tell me that I'm missing them. Because I've read the others. Yeah, here's most of the sewing kits that I find where they have thread in them. A house key. Ooh, maple syrup. Do something fun with that. And if you really wanted me to do a, um, a pizza at some point, I'll grab that cheese. Just keep it. For if I uh, level up my cooking a lot more than where it currently is. Prime is, is annoying. Yeah, you have to apply it every month. There's even um, rumors, although they're just rumors, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that this will actually happen. Um, that the CEO of Twitch just retired or stepped down, and um, Twitch just fired 400 employees, which is like I don't know, like a tenth of their workforce, because Amazon just slashed I think 600 jobs. So there's rumors that um, that the whole free prime subbing on Twitch could be on the chopping block, but again, it's rumors. I, it's not substantiated, as far as I know. That would certainly not be great for streamers. But I have no idea who the new CEO will be. Maybe we'll be a uh, change for the better. Who knows? Oh, that's weird. Noted. There was some uh, some marital cheating going. Well, maybe they were just dating. But um, the the house next door had a key to this house. 
Yep. Although, you know, that's not unusual to have a key to your neighbor's house just in case. It's like, oh, can you check if I left the stove on or something like that? So here's the uh, Hunter magazine that I have not read, which is uh, Cage and Box Traps, which I don't think I need because I... Oh, am I dead? No, my armor soaked it. Damn it, lady. Uh, she bit my glove. Okay, well, I have spare gloves. Um, let's see, what was I saying? Oh, the, um, I already have the trapping skill to, like, uh, be able to, to make those traps anyway. Close one, yeah, I know. Just wandering in after me. This is exactly why I don't like going house to house. Because you'll have things coming out of the woodwork at you constantly. And it's uh, it's just a lot. A lot more room for error, I suppose. Ooh, evaporated milk. And butter. Alright. Well, this, um... Hey, bud. Oh, right, I have two dogs now. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, which originally streamed live on Twitch, March 23rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodomot.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodomot.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers. 